Yes! You guys know what that music means right there. It's time for some high school football. Well, for the first time ever, our game of the week ended up on a Saturday, and boy, were we in for an instant classic this afternoon. Now, if today taught us anything, triple overtime playoff games are great for the sport, but bad for your blood pressure. Let's head on over to Jesuit High School in Carmichael. The Marauders hosting the Del Oro Golden Eagles in the Division II quarterfinals. Now, this is actually a playoff rematch from two years ago where Jesuit ended Del Oro season. So this time around, the Golden Eagles looking for a little payback. And lucky for them, they have a guy by the name of Caden Pinnock, who's a certified baller here in the first quarter, Del Oro ball, and grab some Lysol wipes because this play was straight up filthy. Pinnock tosses this off his back foot, falls right in the hands of Jackson Malbro for the first touchdown of the game. Get used to hearing that combo. Del Oro would actually jump out to a 14-0 lead, but Jesuit happens to have a counterpunch to Caden Pinnock. He goes by the name of CJ Lee, and this kid is a real-life cheat code. Later in the first quarter, Lee going deep, falls right in the breadbasket for Caleb Dixon, and my man Dixon has reservations for six. Now, Jesuit would go on to score 20 unanswered to take a six-point lead into the fourth quarter, and that's where we'll fast forward to just under eight minutes left in regulation. Del Oro drive in, Pinnock, Calm, cool, collective. He throws a dart to his tight end, Landon Perry, giving the big guy some love. Perry gets in for the touchdown. That would tie the game at 20. But C.J. Lee says, anything you can do, I can do better, partner. Ensuing possession for Jesuit. Lee hits his tight end, Cooper Babb, and Babb getting jiggy with it. He takes this in for the touchdown. So now Jesuit has a 27 to 20 lead. So with less than three minutes in regulation, Pinnock drives Del Oro down the field. So here we go, 15 seconds left in regulation, Del Oro in the red zone, and Robert Garcia says, I'm not sure what your plans are for after the game, but you better go ahead and cancel them because we're taking this to overtime. He gets the touchdown. That ties things at 27, and we're headed to OT. Now, Jesuit, they would score on the first possession, so Del Oro has to score, or the game is over. Caden Pinnock takes the snap. He's going to throw this ball up, and Jackson Malbro have some. My goodness. Just stop it, Jackson. Someone got Moss there. Del Oro would punch it in on the next play. So we go to our second overtime in the second overtime period. Both teams fell to score on their possession. So how about a third overtime period? These fans definitely got their money's worth. Jesuit got the ball first, but they turned it over on downs thanks to the strong defense of Del Oro. So now all Del Oro has to do is score and win. And Caden Pinnock, more clutch than a Denny's at 2 a.m. He tosses a dime to who else? Jackson Malbro. Man, I hope you had that kid on your fantasy team. That sets up Del Oro in the red zone. Robert Garcia gets the handoff, and this time he tells the fans, you ain't got to go home, but it's time to bounce the heck out of here. Del Oro comes from behind to win this one 40 to 34 in three overtime periods. And the Golden Eagles are moving on where they will face fellow SFL opponent Rockland next week. Also, hats off to Coach, Coach Blanton and Jesuit for an incredible season. All right, now let's hear from the man of the hour. You know, man, it's a great feeling because, I mean, we were up and down the whole game and it came down to that stop that our defense got and that's just us not, not giving up. That's D.O. football right here. You, see, you hear people go, we play D.O. football. It's hard mouth. We're not giving up type of football. So that's what it was. Uh, it says we're going to keep grinding. Uh, rough start to season. I mean, not start, rough start to league. We kept grinding, had some team issues, but we're figuring all that out. We're going to keep grinding for each other because we all got each other's backs, and we're going to keep going in the future. It shows that we got a lot of resilience and grit and guys who don't quit, people who are willing to work all year long to get to this point where we're late in the season in the playoffs and able to show some of that heart and grit that it takes to win a game. Y'all don't want to see us. They don't want to see us. We work too hard for this, so that's what, that's what it is.